peculiar title here. Um, not sure, you know, kind of can lead to, you know, a couple of different things happening here in this movie, but um, let's see. Let's see what, what it has to say here on IMDb. Uh, a psychic medium attempts to uncover the truth behind her sister's murder at the site of the crime. All right, going back to the site of the crime, uh, the scene of it all. Uh, okay, so this is a, a new one on Shudder, um, coming to Shudder um, real soon. Uh, I believe it's been shown already at some festivals and so forth. And um, so there are already some reviews out for it if you're interested in other reviews um, as well. So, um, yeah, you know, Shudder, you know, we're, we're excited a lot, usually about things that come to Shudder. Um, you know, if you don't have it, <laughs> get it. It's got some of, of some really good horror. So, uh, you know, that's the plug for Shudder. So, uh, anyway, to the point with this movie, uh, and then we'll find out if, if this is a good one for Shudder or not here in a second. Um, so, yeah, Oddity, you know, I, I guess there is a, a little, you know, oddness to, the, to this movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess the, the it, it is... You know, let's see where to kind of start here. Um, I guess you you do see a a sister here, and um, you know she you know she, this sister um, you know has you know all her senses and whatever, and she's in this home, and you know, she had apparently gone outside, come back inside, and uh, in the process of doing so, um, someone may or may have not have come in this house. Um, I should also say there are some twists and turns here, so I will keep this spoiler free, uh, for you guys, especially since, you know, I know some may have seen this at a festival, but, you know, this is new for, for those watching on Shudder. Uh, so I'll, I'll kind of keep, you know, what eventually happens here a secret. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, so she comes in the house and, uh, someone may or, or may not have, have come in this house. And, uh, shortly after she's inside... Uh, there's a knock at the door and uh, you know she has a very interesting door where it kind of has this cut out hole and uh, you know that's she, I don't remember if she opens it or it was already open and this odd well we'll call him odd we'll go with that since we're, we're talking about oddity here um, guy is on the other side of the door um, insisting to be let in and you know he doesn't really say it at first um, you know, why he wants to be let in. Uh, but, you know, to the looks of him, he's got something, you know, wrong with one of his eyes. And, you know, he's got this kind of cloak over his, his head. So, you know, I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't think I would have opened the door for him. Um, and he's, you know, being kind of strange about it. And, you know, he, he's kind of pushing at her to, to open the door. Um, well, you know, we're really, at this point, we're not really sure why. Um, before he eventually tells her that someone's in the house and you know she doesn't really believe it um, you know she thinks that if there was somebody there she would have heard it and, and so forth um, I, if I'm not mistaken if I remember correctly the, the movie might have moved away and then kind of come back to this maybe a couple of times I'm not sure you know don't, don't quote me on that one uh, but I guess the, the eventual thing here and, and it's not really a spoiler because it says that they're in the, in the um, summary there, you know, that she's eventually going to die. So, yeah, eventually there, there was someone in the house. And uh, for sure, later on in the film, you do get to see exactly how she died. That's a pretty cool scene. So I won't say too much about how she dies. Uh, but definitely, you know, one of the very good scenes in this movie. I approved of it. Um, so we have than her sister, but the, the movie doesn't necessarily follow her sister completely. Um, so before I, I kind of go to that, uh, the movie kind of a, a little bit more follows her husband. And her husband, you know, has, you know, trying to get over, he's, I believe, a doctor. He, he, he's, you know, it, some time has passed. Um, I don't remember if they say how much time has passed since his sister died. Uh, but he's, you know, kind of moved on. He has a new girlfriend now. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's trying to work out, you know, things with her. Uh, she's having to spend a lot of time at this house where his ex-wife has, has died. And, you know, she's not really comfortable in doing that. 
and um, you know on this particular occasion when as, as the film is going on she is there and you know you know we see we get to learn a little bit about him and, and so forth and their relationship and um, it also takes a, a trip to this store uh, which has you know I guess oddities if you want to call them uh, very unique stuff and when he walks into the store uh, you know, you're really not sure what's going on. Is he shopping? You know, what's going on? It doesn't seem like he would be shopping. Um, but as he's kind of looking around, it, it kind of reminded me of The Conjuring when they go into that um, one room of the Warrens where they have like all that stuff and they're like, hey, don't touch it. It's evil and, and it's creepy and all that kind of stuff. Kind of reminded me of that. Uh, you know, you kind of get that vibe. Uh, you know, I, I don't believe, you know, anything like Annabelle, a a a Annabelle was hanging around there. Uh, but still, you know, some weird kind of stuff there. And, and you see this older lady there, she's like, don't touch anything, whatever. You're not really sure what the, what, you know, what's going on between the two of them, but you eventually find out that that is the, the sister of the one that died. Um, you know, she is older and she can't see. So, um, you know, they kind of have this conversation and so forth and you, Obviously, there's an awkwardness there. You're not really sure, you know, what is happening. Uh, but I don't know if the guy invited her or she kind of invited herself, but um, she made it clear or, you know, one way or the other, uh, she's going to go to, to the house at some point. So, you know, as the film kind of goes on, you have the girlfriend in the house. Uh, he's in the house for a short term, but then he's got to go back to work. Um, so he's out of the house. So... At a certain point, you have this um, awkward moment uh, where the sister, who's blind, is there at the house uh, with the girlfriend. And uh, obviously there's tension. Obviously this is not going to go well uh, because, you know, you have the sister there still upset about her sister's death. And um, then you have the, the person who's basically replaced the sister, the, 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 the ex-wife now. And... Um, you also have a, a strange box that was delivered, and uh, I guess there's some conversation about that. I'm not gonna go into too much about what was inside this box or kind of what happens. Uh, I, I think that kind of tilts into spoiler territory there, and I want you guys to uh, kind of see that, enjoy it, uh, enjoy the oddness of it, enjoy what eventually later happens. Uh, so I, I'm not going to, to go too much further into that. Um, I will say, you know, that um, the, the girlfriend wants to leave, but eventually can't leave because she can't find her keys. So she's kind of stuck there. Um, you know, she's not very happy. We, she kind of calls the husband, but you know, he's, you know, I, I'm too busy at work, whatever, blah, 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 you figure it out. And, uh, then you have this old, old lady here who, you know, has something up her sleeve. You know, she's, like I said, in, like it says in the summary there, um, you know, she's returned to this house, uh, for a reason and, and to, you know, wants to know more about her sister's death. Um, so I, I'm not going to go too much further into to this at, at this point. I think everything else after that is, it would be too much spoiler and kind of spoil really, you know, what is happening. Um, I, I will say that, you know, I, does it say how much, how long this is here? Um, an hour, just over an hour and a half. So I guess it, it does take a, a little while to kind of really get uh, to what's happening. It, it, I'm not gonna say slow burn, uh, but it, you know, it, it does, it does, it did feel like it was getting there, you know, and I guess it did give you, you know, some of those odd things. Like I tell you that, the, like I was saying about the, the knock at the door and the guy that's there, um, you know, you kind of see that, you know, there is some time that goes by before you eventually see what happens to the sister. Um, but it kind of goes back to that a couple of times. And, you know, there's obviously some tension there. They use that as, as, some, ten, as some tension, as some sus, sus, suspense um, to that. And, and kind of, you know, what is this guy? You know, should he, she let him in or not? So you have that. And then, you know, obviously when the blind sister gets to the house later on, um, you know, they're not really in a huge hurry to kind of, uh, see what she's up to and what's going to happen and, and, and so forth. Um, I, you know, what comes out of this box and, and what's there is odd. 
Um, and uh, But it's going to lead to something very good uh, much later on. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't think it's going to give you any reason to kind of turn away or not watch or continue watching, but you're just going to have to wait, wait a little bit to get there. Um, but yeah, it, it is going to be an interesting ending um, to say. So I'd say that the sister's death, that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely approve of that. Uh, the ending, the you know, I, I don't know there's necessarily a twist and turn. I, I think, you know, you gonna kind of know what's going to happen, uh, especially, you know, once you kind of see what's happening with this box. Um, I, I think you're gonna know what's happening. So um, it's just a matter of how it um, unfolds and it, it, you know, it kind of unfolds in an inter in interesting way. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I really, you know, did like it. Now, you know, I would say on Twitter, I saw some people were saying, you know, they really, really liked this film, um, those who had already seen it and so forth. You know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna maybe reach that level of excitement, or at least what I, I appear to have seen on Twitter uh, from some people who did get to see it. Um, but I, I still did enjoy the movie. Um, I liked what they did, liked, uh, you know, the old, you know, having, you know, the old woman be blind and so forth. Um, you know, there's a trick kind of played on her uh, as well that was pretty interesting. Um, you know, and, and I think as that kind of scene starts to unfold, I, I think, you know, I don't, I don't think any of the twists, if you want to call them twists or whatever, whatever's coming, I don't think any of it is super hidden from you. I, I think you're going to kind of know that it's coming when it happens. Um, so, you know, kind of when you, what's going to, you know, what sort of happens to her, I think you'll see coming. Uh, what you kind of see happens at the end, I think you'll see coming. Uh, I don't think that ruins anything. I, I think, you know, once you kind of, uh, see what's going on with this box. You'll be eager to see, you know, what's coming. Uh, you'll want to see it, and uh, it, it will happen. Um, so, you know, I, I, it was definitely a, a good ending. Um, you know, I, I, you know, the end, end, you know, I'm trying to remember exactly what, I know what happened to, to certain things. There is a twist, but I, again, I, I think you guys will pick up on that. Uh, it's not, you know, super, super hidden what that, that twist is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think, you know, it, it is, uh, well, you know, I, I don't know. It, it is an enjoyable horror movie with good ending and so forth. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I liked you know, the old blind woman, uh, you know, I, you feel bad for her, of course, you know, what happened to her sister and whatever. Um, but I, I, you know, she's she's pretty cool in the end, um, and and you know what she she does, and you kind of expect it because you know, like I said, you know, when she basically has a store of the conjuring kind of like stuff, uh, so you know, you're you're really not surprised at this, and and you know, they call her a psychic medium, um, you know, and and she is, she makes that point, you kind of see that. Uh, but you should probably take that a little bit further. Um, so, uh, I, I definitely, you know, I'm going to give it 3.5 pools of blood. I enjoyed it. Definitely recommend, uh, you catch it once it hits shutter. Um, I, I think you'll enjoy it. You know, you're just going to have to be a little bit patient, uh, with, with letting it unfold. Um, there is a little bit of blood and guts, not huge, you know, it's not a slasher film, not huge on that. Uh, but there is a, a moment of two. Uh, of that, so you will get that um, there as well. So, you know, I, I, I'm always down for that, so that's good. Um, but I, I like the way the story came and, and how it unfolded and what happens, and, and uh, definitely the, the old blind woman, it was pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna give it 3.5 pools of blood and, and hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think uh, most people have. It shows a lot of people have, let's see, six, 6.7 out of 10 here. Uh, I guess that's not bad for IMDb. Um, it does have some decent amount of uh, reviews here. So um, not bad, I guess, for, for IMDb. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna give it 3.5 pulls of blood uh, out of five. Um, definitely, definitely enjoyed this one. So uh, with that, horrorsgoryreviews.blogspot.com uh, it's where you can find all of my reviews written in video. Uh, might have to go a ways back for some written reviews. Um, 
but mostly video reviews as of late. So please like and subscribe and do everything else that everybody wants to do here on YouTube. Uh, but if not, no worries. It is truly okay. I uh, understand. Uh, but I thank you for your time regardless. Uh, Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. So feel free to reach out to me um, about this movie, other horror or other movies on Shudder uh, that people should be seeing, you want to talk about. Um, and feel in the same in the bottom, uh, in the comments section. Uh, once you see this movie, you know, your thoughts, uh, your thoughts on this movie, other, other Shudder movies, uh, feel free to share it there. And uh, if you want me to review something, uh, feel free to reach out there as well. So um, with that, I guess I'll catch you in the next review, horror fans.